Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a really professional looking ink slideshow animation in After Effects without using any third party plugins. It is going to be 100% After Effects. And before we begin, let me show you something. Oh, I think I need to shut the start up. See? Maybe, maybe I'm gonna launch my merch. Maybe, just maybe. And by the way, it is not a promotion or something like that. I just got this printed from one of my really good friends, createase.com. So I highly recommend you guys to go ahead and check it out. I'm not doing any promotion or sponsored. I just, you know, um, got this t-shirt from them. I think the quality is great. The print is great and I'm gonna order more and more stuff. So yeah, make sure to check it out. The link will be down in the description below. So without any further ado, let's get straight into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition and let's call this main 1920 by 1080 30 FPS 10 seconds should be good and hit OK. Let's create one more composition for our media placeholder where we can drag and drop any footage or image that we want to. So I'm going to call this media underscore 01. And into the media comp, I'm going to use an image that I have. And by the way, the project file, the link to the project file will be down in the description below. It is absolutely free. But if you still want to support the channel, then you are always welcome. You can head on to my Patreon page and donate whatever that you feel is gonna help this channel to grow and you know help me to make more and more interesting content for you guys so yeah it will be really really generous for so yeah it will be really generous of you guys anyway so let's drag in the media composition into our main comp and the first thing that i'm going to do is use the ink footage now i have two ink footages that i downloaded from google you can just search in google ink footages or you can download the free project file it will include these two ink footages so i'm going to select this first one and drag and drop it onto the top of the footage and there we have something like that and now we are going to use this ink footage as a track mat and by that i mean i'm going to toggle the switch and change the track mat of the media to luma inverted mat and now you can see we have something like this pretty cool and simple then what i'm going to do is i'm going to dupli duplicate the media so hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's drag and drop it the matte ink that is the second ink footage that i have i'm gonna drop it just like so by the way my mouse is not working properly so probably i'll replace a mouse pretty soon let me know in the comment section below if you have any recommendation for a really good mouse so yeah i'm currently using the logitech g102 which is pathetic i, I think I, i've been using this from six months and it's not you know it gives it, it is giving me really hard time it's registering the two clicks issue you know so getting back to the tutorial here we have our ink footage let's change the track mat of the media make sure it's set to luma inverted mat and turn off the matte ink footage and then i'm gonna just displace this by maybe let's say 20 frames so let's bring this right over here and onto the first ink footage as you can see you saw that what, what it happened i just clicked once and it double clicked registered the double click and this mouse is really pathetic again anyway so let's add a um let's add a tint to this and also our curves let's bring this make it a bit darker so now we have two footages just like so and already it is looking very very interesting then i can select these two layers first of all change the color to a different color just so you can see it more properly maybe something like yellow hit ctrl d and select the bottom one that is the middle layers maybe call this red and let's select the mass matte ink hit r to bring down the rotation properties and rotate it by 180 degrees so now we should have something like this pretty cool very very nice yep i think it's looking very very nice then what i can do is i'm going to add a tint on this so let's select the media one and let's add a tint and for the white, I'm going to go with a really nice vibrant red color. You can go with, of course, any color that you want. So I'm going to go with something like that. And for the black, I'm going to go with a nice black, darker blue shade. Or maybe something like so. Let's see. Yep, this is looking very, very nice as you can see. Then I'm going to toggle switch and make all the layers 3D. Also create a new camera 
50 millimeters should be good hit ok let's put it on the top and also create a new null object make sure to make the null object 3d and parent the camera to the null object now if you don't see the parent option you can click right over here right click columns and parent and then let's switch to the top view let's select the first layer and bring this a bit forward just like so let's select the bottom two layers and bring them back the goal here is to create a bit of a parallax between all the footage that we have so i'm going to keep it somewhere around there let's switch into active camera and now you can see everything is kind of messed up so to fix this let's first of all select these two layers and hit s and scale this to around 120 and there we go that should fix this now if i select the null hit p and you can animate this so you can see we get a little bit of parallax which looks very very interesting so let's set this to zero at the very beginning create a keyframe go to around maybe six seconds and let's set this to maybe somewhere around there so let's call this maybe 250 so we have this really nice animation we have a little bit of parallax as well which will make things look a bit more better so yeah looking very very nice actually let's go into the media and i'm going to position this a bit up okay there we go looking very very nice you can see pretty cool now let's select the matte ink layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's turn this on and let's change i think the blending mode to soft light now we have this really more now we have some more depth into the scene you can see before after looks very very nice it's kind of so right over here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all the matte ink layer and right click time enable time remapping and just push this ahead just like so so now we have this really cool look also as we are using it as an soft light what I need to do is go right over here that is this layer and add a curves and maybe I'll make it a bit brighter just to bring back the colors just like so looking very very nice also I can go right over here that is this footage and I can add a tint and make the black a bit blue so I can make it something like that it, it absolutely depends on your personal preference i'm gonna go with something like so just to make it look a bit more interesting very very nice so yeah pretty happy with this effect now what i'm gonna do is now to add some particles you can of course use the inbuilt particle world cc particle world and I have already created a lot of tutorials where I use CC particle world to create particles so I'm not gonna go over the complete process instead I'll be using the footage of particles that have already pre-rendered it just to you know save some time and I'm gonna make this 3d and of course as I told you the project file will be all the project all the assets will be available in the project file so you don't need to worry about it so as you can see the particles looking pretty good not actually looking pretty good I don't know why okay so i need to push this a bit forward in z space so i'm gonna just push this out so and then scale this down something like so and there we have this really nice particles going on then to give a bit more depth i'm going to use a dust image so let's drag and drop it now it's pretty light so what i can do is hit ctrl shift d to precompose it Control shift D. Oh, sorry. Control shift C to precompose it. Move all attributes. Let's call this dust. All right, let's go into the comp and I'm going to duplicate it. Hit control D, create three copies just to increase the intensity of the look. Also make it 3D. Hit P to bring down the position properties. And let's position it to somewhere around minus 200 2000 in the z space all right and then scale this down so i'm gonna scale this really low so I'm gonna go right over here and scale this to somewhere around there 
So now we have this really nice depth, kind of a parallax effect you can see at the edges and that is what I'm going for to give more and more depth to the scene. And then I'm going to select this, select the ellipse tool and from the center hold control and create a ellipse just like that. Invert the mask, hit F to bring up the feather and maybe I'll set this to around 600. There we go, looking very, very nice. Pretty cool. Also, let's create a new adjustment layer really quick and call this sharpen to add some sharpen to this. And let's set this to around 25, looking pretty nice. And yep, I think it's looking very, very nice. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some text. So let's select the text tool and you can of course use any text or a logo if you want to. I'm just going to type in ink slideshow there we go. Let's align this into the center, make it 3D and for the position I'm going to hit P and bring this to around minus 1500 and scale this down to 50. So we should get a bit parallax between the text. You can see, yep, this is looking very, very nice. Maybe I'll set this to 40. And for the position, I'll go with something like 1700. Let's see. Yep, looking pretty good. Now to add a little bit animation to our text, I'm going to use an I'm going to use an inbuilt text preset from the animation preset presets, and I should find it right over here into the text animate in and I guess it is the fade up character so let's drag and drop it and let's see yep that is the text I'm going for I'm gonna hit U and drag the keyframes a bit to the beginning of the timeline and there we go looking pretty cool maybe I'll just put it somewhere around there after one second yep this is looking much better and there we go there we have our really nice looking ink slideshow animation also the last thing that i would like to add is a vignette so let's create a new solid i'm going to call this v for vignette hit ok select the ellipse to hold control and create an ellipse just like so invert this and feather this up really high and then bring down the opacity so really minimal something like so now to make it a bit more interesting you can also add some light leaks and i have already created a complete tutorial on light leaks i'll provide that in the description below also in the i button above so you can go and check it out as well and here we have really nice simple ink slideshow so that is a wrap for today guys i hope this video was helpful and if it was make sure to subscribe comment and like and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay raw stay creative Oh, 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 oh,